learning from your mistakes. And a lot of people like to talk about this in a very general sense, but I'll show you exactly what this means if you really want to use this as a tool to help accelerate your wealth. Because what I understood was that I was good at working hard, but what I learned the hard way was that I was not good at investing my money and I was not good at running a business. What do I mean? When I started investing my money, I was in college. I started off by investing my money in real estate because during this time, real estate prices were getting hit very hard because of the 2008 crash. My first rental property I purchased back in 2011, it was a small 1,000 square foot condo that I bought out of foreclosure for $8,000. Now, it sounds great, but I made every single mistake possible. I had a bad tenant in there that I found myself. I had a bad property management company. I had a bad contractor that I was working with. Everything that I was around, I was making mistakes because I didn't know what I was doing and it didn't get fixed the first time. The third deal that I did was the worst real estate deal to date that I have done. It was my nightmare property. I made a video about it on YouTube where everything that you could imagine went wrong and more. You know, I read a lot of books that say, you know, every real estate investor has one really bad deal. This is mine. So I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. This is not something to teach you in business books or even something to talk about in real estate books. So I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. You don't make the same mistakes as I did because it was very expensive. I spent so much money on this property in renovations that I spent more money in renovations than I did to actually purchase the house. And then I had to sell the property because of how many mistakes that I did. But even though I screwed up again and again and again, I knew that if I could figure out how to do it the right way, that I would be able to scale this real estate part of my business. It took me a lot of time, but I didn't give up. I didn't stop. The reason why was because I looked at some of the more successful real estate investors out there. And I said, if these people like Donald Trump can manage thousands of units, I can manage five. I can figure out how to do five rental properties because I knew if you have a hundred units, there's going to be a hundred different issues happening at the same time and you can't manage all 100 units. I just had to figure out how I can build those systems. And so I had to figure out how do I stop screwing up? And for me, I had to learn the hard way, which is I had to screw up multiple times before I learned how to do it the right way. Most people learn after one screw up, it takes me three screw ups to figure out how to do something the right way. It was the same thing with running a business. It took me try after try to figure out how to really run a business the right way. Even with Briefs Media, it took me time and a lot of expensive mistakes to figure out how do you build a good team? How do you actually grow? How do you manage a team? Which meant sometimes we had to go through restructuring, which means we had to let people go who weren't keeping up with our culture, who weren't keeping up with what we needed to do. And that was difficult for me because I had to figure out how do I let people go? But I had to go through these mistakes to figure out how I could run a business the right way. And this is what, what I knew that I was good at was working hard. That was something that I learned from a young age that hard work was something that I needed to do. And luckily I was good at that, but I wasn't good here or here. And so I used what I was good at, which was hard work to keep getting better here and keep getting better here. And so what can help you is if you can realize what are you good at, what are you not good at and use what you're good at to help you improve at what you're not good at. If that's going to help you scale your income. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join market briefs, my free financial newsletter by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.